Hello guys, and welcome back to CJRP, otherwise known as Criminal Justice Roleplay. And today we are going to be on the Hardy Davidson motorcycle. Out here running a motorbike unit. So, let's get out here and see what we can hop into. And good morning to everyone out there. Hope you had a good night's sleep. Um, and hope you're ready for at least a good two or three videos today. Maybe, just maybe, I'll upload four. Uh, then again, we'll see, we'll see, you know, when we get there. I hit that phase. So, let's get out here and have a little bit of fun. So, Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and top off our gas just as we can. Go ahead and fix our voice chat settings to 15. Vehicle related options. Engine always on and flash brights on honk. There we go, got everything fixed. And now we are 100% ready. How many people? Oh, okay, again got a pretty decent amount of people in here today, this morning. Pretty good. Good thing that was AI. Then again, that wasn't no action for us there. So many people always stop and pass the line. I like to stop behind it, because normally this limit line, especially much where you're supposed to stop, really. Technically, you're not supposed to go over it or past it. Of course, 99.9% .9 of the time, nobody really pays attention to that. We will never know why. Um. Oh, Coyote, get out of the road. I don't want to hit you. Bird, don't at the same time. Wasn't expecting it, but I, I knew I knew he was going home. I knew he was going to do it, so I just got a head start there. Oh, he's got some good old report. Oh, he's got some uh, orange juice for my early bow. Good thing that was a cop. I was about to go after them. Going after someone or something. Alrighty. Trying to find a better spot here. I'm 
to do a U-turn right about here. And right here. That away. We're good. I'm gonna go ahead and set this as my personal vehicle just so it can't really be stolen. Also said exclusive driver, that way it can't be stolen. I love Harley Davidson's and I would do anything to prevent it from getting stolen. Ten four. For my twenty three responding. Alright guys, so right now we're currently in route, just code two low down to a shots fired at the abandoned motel. We're gonna go see what's going on up there and try to see if we can't you know get it taken care of. Those are a couple new vehicles you added today. Hey, De Devon, I think uh, Hayden wants to go by the motel. Okay. Right over here. For Mike 23, we got at least two explosions. Three. Go, let's go! Did not give me my loadout. You gotta be kidding me. Right. Device is gonna be clear up here. I'm gonna go check around the uh, marina area and ammunition. All right, guys. So we're gonna see if we can't figure out what's going on. Um, we had multiple, at least three explosions pop off. Uh, so, we're going to see if we can figure out who's doing it and why. I'm not going to be over here, that's for sure. Starting it off with uh, explosions and code six investigating. Trying to see if we can't find who's doing this here. I tell just a reflection off on these lights here are probably my favorite. Probably that's my favorite. This is probably my most favorite LEO vehicle. Well, one of them. Oh, huh, that's on two wheels anyways. For my 23, I'm going to be back 10-8 at this time. Uh, just be aware for any explosions or gunshots. 
keep your eyes peeled. Watch, buddy. Four Mike 23, 10 11, East Southwest, East Joshua Road. It's gonna be on a orange and black motorbike. It's gonna be times one occupied. It's gonna be a black jacket, black and white, black pants, white stripe, black and white shoes. 10 80. Guys took a left, Panorama Drive, passing Sandy Airfield. Advice, can one of you check with Civ, see if they're using speed boosters by chance? Advice, mm -hmm. hey, I Richard, always attempt to pull him over for reckless driving. I heard something. Y'all got a 20? long gone here. So right now we're just going to be code 6 in the area, just trying to investigate see if we can't find this guy here. I don't really see what the point in running was. No, I bet you anything, he's using speed boosters. Oh, right. I mean, yeah, it was. No, I mean, but normally, you notice how every time, you know, we get in 1080, they're pretty much gone within at least three seconds tops. Within a good 
takes a good minute, they're pretty much gone. I mean, I couldn't even finish my radio traffic before he took off, and the thing is, he took off before, like, as the other unit pulled up, so, you know. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't even off the bike yet before, so, it must be, he must have something, you know. It's either a warrant or something that he's running for. Or maybe has yeah, something. Yeah, right, I'm gonna have my coach to the airfield because that's where he broke away. Yeah. Anyways, next time we get him, it'll, it'll be code 5 stop. Okay. Right, take it easy. For Mike 23, I'm gonna at this time call, call off the uh, pursuit at this time. Be advised if you, if you see that subject. Uh, it's gonna be a code five felony stop. Felony stop. I mean, that's just ridiculous. I mean, I do not know why. Ten four. It's gonna be the black and orange motorbike. He took off from me before I could even finish my radio traffic. Ten four is going to be that one. Ten four. What's with the civs driving like the super vehicles and super and sports cars every single time? That is what I would really love to know. His, come on, this is the county. I mean, look around. You wouldn't have, you wouldn't. You would not have that stuff here. Big shout out to Criminal Justice. Really enjoying you make you know enjoying your videos too. Hope to see you. Hope to see you in the service sometime, buddy. getting away again. Then again, he probably will, because he's probably using speed boosters, and he got away within two, within, in less than a minute. What the hell was that? There we go. Oh, 
Oh, reckless. Ten four B I'm gonna be on ten eleven eastbound Miranda Drive, cross Alamo C, stand by for postal, no thirty two. Nurse Postal 3027. Take Pretty good. Sergeant Devin Moo with the Blunt County Sheriff's Office. Another race on stop to you by chance? Uh, the burnout? Yeah, uh, any reason why you stopped in the middle of the road just to do burnout by chance? Uh, this is my boss's car and he asked me to test out the tire smoke on it because he's had to put some tire smoke in it. Ah, well, probably not, probably, you know, not the best idea to do it right in the middle of the road. Got a license registration for insurance? Uh, I do, but it, if you run the plate, it's not going to come back to me. It'll come back to. Everybody. That's fine. All right, go ahead and confirm the name on your your ID for me, please. Oh, step back in the vehicle. Get back in the vehicle. This place I was tied. Okay. All right. All right, so sit tight for me. I'll be right back with you. Okay. How many times do we see that name pop up in a single day's role play? Valid. Public endangerment, fire weapon of the threat, public. See what this guy's prior is for. Reckless. Four Mike 23, can I have one 1032 to my 1011? I'm gonna be arresting this Jeffrey Chalpy guy. It's gonna be its third offense for reckless driving. He's going to chill this round. I don't want to need someone to transport. Sir, you mind doing me a favor? Go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me, please. Alright, go ahead and step on back here. Alright, sir, you wouldn't happen to have anything on you, would you? I'm guessing this is down to my weapon license. I'm sorry? If this is down to the weapons that I am licensed to have, then in the boot of the car, or the trunk of the car, depending on what. Alright sir, well, you know, at this time, you're, I'm just, I do, I am going to be placing in just for my safety, okay? Okay. Stand by, Beard, stand by. I was speaking with the person. Three zero two seven Marina Drive. Alright sir, so based on just how you did it, it does fall under reckless driving, so, and I see you already have two priors, so, you know, this being the third time, you will be, you're getting the citation and also you're, you will be going to jail for it this round. I think, you know, we've been going pretty easy on, they've been going pretty easy, pretty easy on you so far, man, don't you think? 
Yeah, but all the offences might find out in my boss's cars because he keeps asking me to do stuff in him and then if I don't do him, he'll fire me and I don't want to get fired. Well, just take, just take, I'd rather man just take can, getting fired because I'm your boss. If that is true, then your boss just got you arrested technically. Then, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be working for someone that's making you commit a crime, dude. Okay? You need to quit working for that dude. Okay. I'm gonna pat him down real quick. Yep. <sighs> Hold on, keys. All right, gonna take another ride. Take a ride in the charger, and I'll go ahead and get your paperwork in order. If I'll meet you at the station so I can get the paperwork in order. Let me shut this door. Why am I charging him? Back to the back. Be advised, I can I can take care of the paperwork. I can take care of the paperwork. I got a computer. I got a computer in the uh, deal. Alright, go and do that. I'll just put him in. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and out of character chat just for the simple fact, you know, they're driving off. I want I wanna be able to figure out what's in the vehicle exactly. Um Because we do need that we do need to figure that out for sure. I mean Alright, so Go ahead and get this arrest report taken care of. Then the citation as well. Eight twenty two right there. Booked into the Plain County Jail. Go ahead and get the citation as well. A-M-U-N-A-T N-A-T what? Nine. Are you kidding me? Immunation, you gotta be kidding me.
And perfect. There we go. Go ahead and DV this. For my 23, I'm going to be code 4108 for my traffic stop. Be advised, one arrest made, one citation. One arrest, one citation. All right, so there we go. First traffic stop, got an arrest. I mean, it's pretty obvious that, you know, he's, you know, had priors for the reckless driving to begin with, like two other citations for it. I just, you know, and just got that bad conscience that one of these days he's gonna go out there, his boss is gonna, tell him to go out there and do something stupid like that he's going to end up in a collision or something we don't need that so no though we took him off the streets you know I have a very bad feeling we're going to end up seeing this boss do the same thing sometime or another but let's just hope that we can prevent that from happening because if we can prevent if we can prevent that, then we did a good thing. You know, I'm not, I didn't want to have to do do it, but at the same time, unfortunately, unfortunately, we don't make the laws. We just, but we do enforce them. Took an oath, and I got to uphold that oath. I guess suck whenever I start recording, the time goes by fast. 34 minutes in so far, so far it's been good. certain service watch this I want to say thank you you know I appreciate you know you actually actually stepping out of the vehicle you know didn't you know take off from us or nothing so that is greatly appreciated I mean see that's what I like is if you know you you're in the wrong you know just you know don't fight fire with fire guys you know just take the time, take the ticket, you know, it's not a big deal. It's not like you, I mean, it's only a misdemeanor that he got charged with, but, you know, yeah, I understand if it, if it's a serious felony or something,
10 for 10 on location. Ten four. Alright, so it sounds like he does. They got one additional because that did not sound like the original officer that called it down. Got that lane split in life. Uh, channel was edited, it sounded like, it sounds like. Are you kidding me? See, I knew we was gonna see that name pop up in the chat again. I just knew he did not learn this lesson. guys so you know early actually just yesterday I actually wanted to mention this before but uh, she didn't um, it was hope y'all had a pretty good New Year's New Year's uh, you no know, kicking the New Year's off with you know so me my New Year's resolution was different this year you know, I felt I just wanted to be I just wanted to be generous and, and uh, so what I did was I donated to the local you know children's hospitals you know and you know animal shelters out there and you know my prayers go out to the families who have to suffer you know through that day in and day out you know that's something else my prayer that's something else I pray for you know is, I just pray that those children, you know, get a, be able to grow up to live a happy, healthy life, you know. Same with these animals, I mean, I know a lot of people say, oh, well, it's just an animal, I mean, it's not, not a big deal, but, I mean, to me it's just much different than that, I mean, it's... I mean, they're not just animals. I mean, they they still have feelings. They still have a soul that you know they need to be loved. They need caring for. I mean, so I mean, pretty much what I'm trying to say, guys, is you know, live life to the fullest, guys. I mean. Yeah, I know. Yes, I'm, there's going to be some milestones here and there. There's going to be things that so, sometimes we don't want to do something, but at the same time, there's one thing I learned. Sometimes we're just going to make the sacrifice for, you know, the greater good, really. I mean... I had a feeling y'all was gonna pull up so I pulled forward for you. Okay, brother. Go 
everyone coffee. Got that stinky drink. New in, man. Damn. Fuck. Sorry. That's, That's the second, second time. Hey, right, now break it up over there. Be good, you two. Be advised, the subject that just came in the store behind me is the subject, it's the same person that took off from me on the motorcycle. Same, matches the description of 100%. Hey, uh, so can you turn around for your business, brother? Is there just stay right there for me, please? Knew we'd catch you sooner or later. Thankfully, it was sooner. Uh, which vehicle can I put them in, guys? After I pat them down? The Vic. The, the white Vic. black and white crown Vic. Oh. oh. Ah. I do not like when it does that. Yeah, it's perfectly the black and white one. Nah. Alright sir, so, never got a chance to introduce myself because you took off from me before I could. My name is Sergeant Devin B with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office and earlier this morning I had attempted to pull you over back on Joshua Road, but you had decided to take off from me, so at this time you're being placed under arrest for felony evasion. Alright? Alright. And, you got a name? Can I get your name please? All right. Uh, 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 just gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get everything taken care of. And is that your vehicle right there? Yeah. All right. So before I put you in the vehicle, I just got one question. Why'd you take off from me? I mean, it would have, it most likely would have, you, it would have just been a plain, a simple citation. But now you turn a simple ticket into a felony. I mean, what, what motive did you have? Do I have to answer? You do not have to, and that was wrong, but... <laughs> then, I will not answer. Alright. That is your, tr that is your you right. You need a paperwork, Devin, I'll just book him in. I'll write the report, I just need you to take it to the station. Thanks. Alright, go ahead and get it, so it wouldn't let me see you. For my 23106 paperwork. All right, ten six for paperwork. How fun! What? Yeah, that's me. Um, what do I have to do, sir? License is expired. Expired license. Yeah, I'm not. Never mind. Ugh. 
Hey, Mr. Force. As I read your name, I noticed you're you're driving on a, a, a uh, expired license as well. So, unfortunately, I will be charging you with that. All right. Only as once. Well. You did it. Just go. No, go off it and then go yeah, back. Yeah, I need it. And then. Let's go, in, let's go inside here. One more time. Once you walk, once you go in, you're gonna take a and left. Same path and door. helmets. Is... I'm gonna take a right from there. There you go. Save that pen. Gonna be the first cell on your left. I go ahead and turn around back up to, towards, stel towards these stealth bars here so I can get you uncuffed. Turn around, face away from me. I'm gonna sit down while I get paperwork in order. Alright, so we're gonna get his paperwork in order at this time. Arrest report plus the citations and but arrest report to begin with. So we got him on Title Eight Section Thirty, felony evading a peace officer. Felony as well as expired license. Let's see if we have that. Driving on the right side, driving with suspended or revoked, driving without a license, expert misdemeanor. It's gonna be a driver's license. It's okay, so that's gonna be the only thing we can get him on the arrest report with. Gonna go ahead and sign and submit that. Title eight section thirty, perfect. And let's get a ticket here. Got him at Alhambra. Cross Nyland Ave. <laughs> Postal three zero zero eight. $234 on that. Let's go back down to see if there's a fine for the felony evasion. $10,000 fine. 
Hope he has a good way of paying that. So it comes out to ten ten thousand two hundred thirty four dollars. All right, Mr. Forrest, now that I got your paperwork situated. All right, sir, so at this time you're being charged with driving on ex the expired license as well as the family of age vending of a peace officer. It's going to be round up to a total of 60 seconds imprisonment as well as a, and with all the fines added up together, it's going to be a $10,234 worth of fines. Do you have any questions for me? No. Alright, and since I... Still can't work the jail command. You can either choose to wait your time out in the cell here, or you can switch characters either way. Either or. Uh, I'll just use this one. Okay. When the time is up, you know, just act like a uh, AI, like a AI, you know, jailer, let you out. For Mike Twenty Three, I'm gonna be code four ten eight one arrest one citation. So again, we had one arrest and one citation on our second stop and no we got really lucky there I mean he took off from us and wouldn't you know it he goes to the exact same gas station that all the cops are at so you know that is a definite win no doubt um, very easy win I mean, I really do hope he can, I really hope he can pay them fines, though. I really do. I mean, $10,234? Oof. It's quite a bit. And that's AI for you. that someone crashed all timed out
Motorbike patrol. Loving it. Hey, this bike can get up to speed when we really need to. When I really need to get up to speed, it will go. That's what I like about the Harley. It's our ambulance and a engine there. I'm I should probably elaborate it to one minute. That's something else y'all notice is even though there's no stop sign nor a yield sign, I still like to slow down, make sure there's nothing coming. You know, and if there is, you know, and I if I had no I can't make it, then I will stop. Even if there isn't a stop sign or yield sign. You know, just mainly because that's what I do. Namely because that's what I do in real life. If there's no stop sign or yield sign. I'll just do that just because I want to be safe. I mean, safety is number one. It's the number one satisfaction. It's the number one key to driving. Because without safety, you really ain't got nothing. Mike 23, be advised, I'm hearing shots fired. Be advised, I'm going to be 97 to that, uh, 911. If I stand by, I'll see if I can get the charge. The uh, see if I can find what charge we got. If I, I believe it's gonna be illegal wiretapping. All right, so we're gonna figure out exactly what we're gonna be getting this guy with because I'm gonna say this now: he should not be doing what he is doing. Whoever this guy is, should not be doing it. As you know. For, for Mark 23, same traffic. Oh, you popped out of nowhere on my screen. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, never mind. If I was going to be stepping out of code 2. Damn 
far. Get him. I'm definitely gonna switch vehicles after this.
Japan. Yeah, they're going to clear out of AOP. I'm going to, I'm going to, yeah, do you know? I'm going to, I'm going to clear myself off. I mean, just in case, you know, some civs doing anything over here. Yeah, that's how I'll train you. you I'm back 23rd, you advise I'm going to go for it tonight. I am not certified right now. Ten four is he armed? Ten four, I'm gonna be responding. Code three. All right, so I was going to clear myself, but. Silent alarm, let's go. So let's go. Let's get this taken care of now. Got a silent alarm triggered at the uh, Pacific S Standard Bank down at down Los Santos. So we're going to try to get there as quickly as we can, but. <laughs> And it's, we're gonna try to get there in one piece. We are for my 23, 10, 23 on scene. I'm ready for anything at this point, guys. I'm ready for anything. For my 23 shots fired on my five. Get some cover.
Drake, I should just set it to priority in progress, because it's currently in progress, not... Ultra, gone! Back, it looks like. Um, yeah. Looks like you got a minor flash, got a flash wound to the chest on my screen. Be advised, the MS can only stage at this point. Fortunately, if EMS can move in, we let them, but EMS can only stage as this is currently in progress. We can't let EM EMS, you know, roll on to the scene and risk them getting shot in the process of getting this officer out of here. So, at this point, we're just sitting ducks. Out here, man. Cheers, thank you. Be advised, we're gonna have to take him out if he keeps on, if he keeps no, you know, killing people. Yeah, I'm not going to need to locate anyone. I'm going to breach hard left and we have one going right. Multiple explosions here. 
Move, 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 move. Go, 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 go. Right. Get cover, get cover. Yeah, I got eyes on him, I got eyes Why, Why is this one, one trooper down, down there? He's gonna die. On your chair. Yep. Oh, 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 my God. Shit. Oh. Crazy. I'm leading out over here. You know, guys, I mean, that's all something else, guys. I mean, I know most people will see it. Oh, it's just a video game, you know. But, you know, this is this is something that this stuff actually goes down. Um, th this stuff does happen in real life, you know, guys, and, you know, it's just, I mean, there's, they're out there every day fighting for us, you know, and, you know, the police, firefighters, paramedics out there every day saving lives and, you know, just doing whatever they, everything they can to keep us safe and keep us, you know, alive, get it, yes, medical treatment we need. And the military, you know, out there, you know, exactly the same thing, you know, just out there making sure we have our freedom and we have them to thank for that, guys. I mean, there's really no, I mean, there's no other way of looking at it, really. And I just find this, I don't, I don't see this as just video game, guys. I see this as a, as a tribute, an honor, a way to pay our respects. And but that's just my personal perspective of looking at it so and I don't know if they s are coming back for me or not um
come back. Oh, I keep on hearing doors open, but I don't see them. I mean, 